So what's the Grape Explorer talking about today? Well, something that is really near and dear to my heart is an area of France. It's called uh, Chateauneuf du Pop. And uh, it's quite famous. Uh, a lot of Americans know this, uh, this very, very famous wine. It's one of the wines also that you can see that it's got this in, in, in bottle, uh, this Chateauneuf right on the label. And so all the Chateauneuf du Pops have this. Uh, Chateauneuf du Pop is famous for a lot of things. One, it was the first wine to become what we called uh, AOC or Appellation. And uh, it was in the 20s. And what they tried, were trying to do was to make sure that nothing was coming in that would, represent, would not represent Chateauneuf du Pop. So all the grapes have to be grown into this area, defined area of Chateauneuf du Pop. And we have this wonderful map, so we can kind of point it out a little bit. And Chateauneuf du Pop, if you can see on the map, is very close to Gigandas, and we call this the Southern Rhone. So this is the Southern Rhone starts here, and the Northern Rhone. In our last uh, video, we were talking about Crow's Hermitage. So if you go a little farther south here, you're coming to an area, and it's called Chateauneuf du Pop, which is quite close to uh, the city of Avignon. And Avignon was quite famous because at that time, the Vatican was, of course, in Rome, but they also had a... a um, the next Pope up, which was Pope Clement, he was actually from Bordeaux. So they actually decided to move the Vatican to Avignon. And that is the reason why they call it the Chateau of the Pope. So it's Chateauneuf du Pop. And uh, another reason why it's quite famous uh, is 13 different varietals can be used uh, in uh, Chateauneuf du Pop. The most famous varietals, of course, are Syrah. Uh, you got Grenache and you got Cinso and a little bit of Carignan can be used in the blend, but uh, some of these uh, wines are both mostly Grenache and Syrah. So this is an interesting little family here. Uh, this comes from the Sabon family, and Sabon is quite famous in Chateauneuf du Pop. Uh, actually, Roger Sabon is the leading uh, producer there at Clos Olivet. And uh, so when the family decided to, um, to, to give up different parcels of land in Chateauneuf du Pop, there was four brothers, and one of the brothers is uh, Bernard Sibon, was given uh, some parcel of land in Chateau du Pop, and then and hence he gave it to his daughter, who's now running the property. Her name is Mylene, and Mylene is a their small producer here, but it's, as you can see on the label, uh, Sibon Rochevelle, and that's her husband now is Rochevelle, and of course Sibon and the families try to keep it in the family, so they're making uh, Cote de Rhone as well. But this is a beautiful wine. This is 2016. As you can see, a deep color. When you smell Chateauneuf du Pop, uh, you get a lot of different uh, woods, wood scents, but also you get um, a lot of dried figs and fruits. Uh, the, the vineyard, if you actually go into the vineyard, uh, you'll see very, very large rocks uh, underneath the vines. And the reason for these rocks is because when the sun is coming down, and it's, it's hitting the rocks, it actually, uh, the heat comes back up into the plant and it gives the wines a little higher alcohol. So you're gonna see more alcohol uh, in these wines than you're gonna see maybe in Bordeaux or in Burgundy where they don't have this uh, ripening uh, kind of of the Syrah and the Grenache. So these are beautiful wines. Uh, Chateau de Pop can be quite expensive, uh, when, but when you look for smaller families like this, like the Sabon family, uh, usually you can get away with something like $40 a bottle of this wine. So uh, beautiful wine. Again, Grape Explorer. We want to not only highlight grapes, but we want to highlight what's called uh, Appalachians of France. And we want to also highlight this beautiful map because if anybody's interested in, uh, in learning about uh, wines of France, the best way to find these wine maps is online. And they do highlight all the geographical areas and tell you all the Appalachians. These are all the Appalachians in France. So again, this is the Grape Explorer, talking about grapes, talking about wine. If you like our content, please check out and hit the subscribe button, and we're gonna have lots of videos uh, coming your way.